Hi guys, before we get to the installation, you need to get rid of those pliers because you don't use them for heat shrink connectors. You want to make sure that your tool has a die designed for insulated connectors. It doesn't matter if it's standard or one of these ratcheting tools. Your heating device it can either be a hot air gun or a butane torch. Now let's get to the installation. To install this sealed crimp butt connector, make sure you follow the package's instructions for the proper wire strip lengths. Insert your first wire into the barrel, making sure that the ends of your wire butts up against the terminal's wire stop. Using the blue crimp nest of your crimping tool, align the tool halfway between the middle of the crimp barrel and one end of the barrel, and then crimp your first wire to the terminal. Repeat these same instructions for the other side. Insert my wire. Using my tool's blue insulated nest, I again align my tool between the middle and the other end of the crimp barrel and crimp. I'll start by focusing the heat at the middle of the connector and then move the heat to one end. I'm trying to ensure that any air under the tubing is forced out as the tubing recovers down to my wire. I'll do the same on the other side. To heat evenly when using a butane torch, move the torch continually and if possible, rotate the wire. Once the tubing is fully recovered, you can now remove it from heat and let it cool. Now you have a termination that will last as long as the wire. When installing rings, spades, and male and female bullet and blade style terminals, make sure you follow the package's instructions for the proper wire strip length. Insert your wire into the barrel, making sure that the ends of your wire butts up against the terminal's wire stop. Using the blue crimp nest of your crimping tool, align the tool in the middle of the crimp area of your nylon terminal and crimp the connector's barrel. When recovering the tubing, start by focusing the heat at the unrecovered tubing. Heat the tubing towards your wire's insulation. You'll want to make sure that any air under the tubing is forced out as the tubing recovers. Now you can remove it from heat and let it cool. Now you have a termination that will last as long as the wire. A quick note about using an open flame. If the tubing catches on fire, simply extinguish the flame as quickly as possible.